What's up guys, I'm Boy Recon. Today I'm going to show you guys how to beat the electrical panel puzzle down in the jail cell. I'm going to show you how to get both electrical parts and how to beat every puzzle to get it done. Let's get it on. Alright, so right here in the prison beside this little uh, cell here where you just seen the guy get fucked up, you're going to see a little electrical panel. Now you need two electrical parts and then you're gonna have to complete the puzzle. But to do that, you have to grab the crank right here that is beside it on this desk. And you're gonna head over to the other side of the basement over to where the dog kennel is. So you have to work your way through the parking garage over to here, which I will show you on the map as soon as this door opens. You're gonna insert the crank into the wall right there, crank open this door and head through. Here's where we are on the map. You can see we're literally just on the other side of the parking garage. So it goes the jail on the one side, parking garage, and then the dog kennel over here. Also the morgue behind us, there's a, a key in there that you can grab. That's a little side note, you don't need to worry about it. Head through the door right here, grab this electrical component right here on this desk, spin it around and examine it. Hit the action button on it when you're examining it after you flip it around like this, and it will open up and reveal the first electronic component. Now that you have the first one, just one more to go. Now to get this one, we actually have to head back into the police station, which means we gotta come over here and turn the power on. So come on over here, turn the two right switches on and the power will equalize and the door will open. All you gotta do is just head back through the dog kennel over here and through the door we just opened back up the stairs into the police station. If you turn right at the top of the stairs, you will find this little safe room. And in the back of the safe room, you'll find a little bunk room with a fuse on the chair. Grab the fuse, head back out of the safe room, turn right, go down the hallway. You'll find two zombies, take them out with a couple of headshots. And on the left, you'll find the fuse panel. Put the fuse in the fuse panel. It will open this door and allow you to head back into the east side of the police station. Head up to the second story of the police station on the east side. You will find another one of these crankable doors. Crank the door open. Head through it. Go up two flights of stairs. And you're going to go through this door over here on the right into the storage room. In this little storage room on a pallet over here, you're going to find the large gear. Grab the large gear and then just spin around and head back out the way we just came in. We now have to go get the club key to allow us to move on to the next part. So through this door, head down the ladder onto the roof. Little cutscene will happen here. Ladder's gonna break apart, that's okay. We're gonna figure out a different way to get out of here. As soon as the cutscene's over, just head over across the roof, down the stairs, over here into this safe room. Now be ready, the couple of zombies are over here. Pile them on with a couple headshots, take them out. This girl doesn't want to go down after one. I make sure she's dead by smacking her head off with the shotgun for a third shot. Come on around over here into the back room. You'll find the club key taped to this whiteboard. Grab the club key. Here we are on the map. Now you're gonna head back out of this safe room. And as soon as you get out the door, you're going to turn to the right and you'll turn on the valve here. And then you're going to head back up onto the roof where we kind of came in and fell off the ladder. And you'll find one more valve right here. Turn this valve on as well. The fire will go out. It'll allow you to head back in through the door, which is actually behind you. I didn't show that. There's a door there. You're going to head back in. And then the little cutscene will happen here where you're going to see the tyrant for the first time. Not a big deal. Just try and get close to him. Wait for him to kind of swing at you and then you can go by him just like that. And work your way back over to the far side, west side of the precinct. You'll see on the map right there. You have to use the club key to get in there. Grab that part. Head over to the library here. Also on the west side. I believe this is on the second story. You will use the part to uh, complete the jack and you will drop the bookcase. Now that the bookcase is down, you can now move them all over to the right, head up the ladder, and now you can get across the broken part here, the broken part of the walkway, and work your way over towards where the clock tower is. You're gonna go through this door here, you'll turn right, not left, 
turn right. There we go. And head this way. And you go through the door right here on the right. Avoid the zombies. They're going to try and grab you. And right in here, you will find where you're going to put the gear. So head over to this little spot. Toss in the big gear first. A little cutscene will happen. You'll see some stairs drop down. Right there. As soon as they drop down, grab the big gear back out. And then head around and up the stairs. Here's where you're going to put the little gear, but don't worry about that yet. Head up here, head up the stairs, come on around up top. Here you're going to find the little gear, grab that. Put the big gear in where the little gear was. Another cutscene will happen. Or it doesn't actually quite start yet. That's why you have to head back down the stairs. And you're going to put the little gear in this box down here. Now the cutscene will happen. You have fixed the clock tower's bell. The bell, oh, sorry, the clock is going to strike three on the hour. The bell is going to go crazy and it's going to release the second electronic part that you need. So you're just going to head back around the corner here and you know what to do. You're just going to open this box up by examining it and cutting it open and it will reveal your second electronic part. Now that you have that component, you're just going to head back over to the east side of the precinct, back into the way we came. We're going to head down these stairs, back into the prison over here, head up to the electrical panel. You're now just going to insert both electronic components. Once you have these electronic components in, you then have to manipulate the wires so that both the electrical components work their way over to the power source on the right. Now, if you are having trouble with this, you can literally just pause the screen once I'm finished right here and copy exactly what I did. Now that that's done, you have completed the puzzle. And I hope this helped you guys out. You can head in here and you can grab the key card that's going to allow you to get out of the parking garage. If this video helped you guys out, make sure you hit that like button for me. And come on over to my channel, check it out. I got more Resident Evil videos over there, including all different key locations and how-tos. So come on over there and hit subscribe. For now, I'm your boy Recon, and I'm out. Peace.